All right, in this next question, a person asks, Dr. Berg, what causes cataracts? All right, so I want to discuss cataracts, and it has to do with a person's pH, their acid alkaline levels. And I talk about this in my book on page 50 under the adrenal gland chapter, because when the adrenal gland overacts and produces too much cortisol, that's the stress hormone, what happens is it it causes the release of a lot of acid from the urine. So when you check the urine, the person's pH is very, very, very acid. It's overly acid. So you may look at that and go, wow, the person's too acid. We need to alkalize them. That would be a big mistake because when you lose your acids, your pH then starts becoming more alkaline. So seven is neutral. When you go above seven, you're becoming more alkaline. And when you're becoming low seven, below seven, it's more acid, okay? So if you're losing all your acids, your pH is gonna rise upward. And because the blood operates at a very narrow band between 7.34 and 7.45. So it, it, it's like within just like a very small range. And if the pH of that blood goes too high, you're going to develop something called alkalosis. Now, what is alkalosis? That just means that your blood's too alkaline. And that is a condition that it happens with adrenal gland problems and stress. So, but when you measure the urine, it's excessively acid. That's because you're dumping all your acids and your body's becoming too, on the opposite, and the blood's becoming too alkaline. When the blood is overly alkaline, you, you're going to have a big problem with calcium. Calcium will not necessarily go, this doesn't even work, um, go in the body anymore. It goes on the tissues. Okay, so it develops on the nerves as neuritis, it, like all the itis is inflammation, on the heels as heel spurs, on the joints as arthritis, on the bursa as bursitis, that's a little sac around the joints, on the tendons as tendinitis, on the eyes as cataracts. That's a calcium placking because the body is too alkaline. I'm talking about the blood. I mean, there's books that say you have to alkalize or die, and that's actually a myth because you're, <laughs> you're going to create a worsening of the problems. Calcium de develops on the arteries as placking, on the kidneys as kidney stones, and the gallbladders, gallstones, on the nerve, on the left, actually it could be on the right or left, as a little twitching on the eyelid. That's calcium because the pH is too alkaline and the calcium is not going in the bone of the muscle. That's why you get cramps in your calves or tight shoulders up here. So all the, from the adrenal gland overacting, you can have all those conditions. Can you imagine treating each one of those separately? We have to get to the root problem, the cause. And so doing that, you would want to acidify the body. Now, how do you do that? Well, people that are excessively alkaline tend to crave acids, like they might like the, um, what's that, um, apple cider, vin no, the cider vinegar chips, the vinegar chips. They might like carbonated water or sodas because it has carbonic acid. So they want, they, what they should do is do Pellegrino or Perrier because the carbonated water will acidify them as well. But the best thing to do is to take a little lemon in your water or maybe some apple cider vinegar in your water or even cranberry, all those are very acidic. And of course, I recommend that in my book on the adrenal chapter. You're gonna do a drink with unsweetened cranberry, apple cider vinegar, and a little lemon in some water to start to acidify you. And sometimes people say, well, Dr. Brick, why are we trying to acidify you? Because most people are actually too alkaline in the blood, but they're too acidic coming out because they're losing all their acids. And when the calcium doesn't get absorbed, your breathing becomes off. So you, you can't, you're like you're, can't get enough air. Um, you don't sleep that well. You can't wind down at night because you don't have the calcium to wind you down. So there's a lot of other problems that occur, but that's definitely one of them. So this is some extra background data. I hope that helped. I'll see you in the next video.